Okay, so the Naked Heart Tarot. This is the second edition um, that I received. And I am absolutely in love. I don't own the first edition. So this is actually um, the first time I saw this deck. <clears throat> The card stock is amazing, so I'll get right into that. But first, let me just talk about this box. So the cards come in a nice, sturdy box. It's all black. The feel of the box is very smooth. You know, it's like a matte finish kind of a thing. <clears throat> and then when you open them up, you can instantly see the gorgeous, just the detail. So the inside of the box, you have the miners, so the suits. You have the wands, cups, swords, and pentacles. Also the um, the signs, the elements. And then I think the lid, yes, the lid has a little quote. The naked heart holds the secrets of the soul by Jillian C. Wild. Beautiful. <clears throat> I love when a deck comes with a hard box because... Um, if you're not into putting them in bags and stuff and you like to have the boxes out, it's really cool to have a box. It's just beautiful. The deck comes with a gorgeous guidebook. So it's a nice chunky guidebook. Um, and they go through all of the cards. They go through the meanings. You, she has everything in here. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, she talks about the, um, the elements, the suits. She goes, there's like little keywords here. If you're just a keyword person, a little bit about reversals and how to read your deck. And then <clears throat> she has the cups, the swords, pentacles, and then she has spreads. So if you're into doing tarot spreads, she has a couple spreads in the back of the guidebook. So that's really cool. I always get excited when there's spreads in the guidebook because I don't usually, I don't necessarily use a guidebook unless I need to, um, but I always look for spreads because the creator will usually have something really cool and like we have a full moon spread, that one looks cool. So I love it. A new moon spread, ooh. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the cards. Um, oh yeah, so there's a title card right here the Naked Heart Tarot. The deck has been created and set with the intention of providing healing energy, clarity, guidance, and truth. Each card provides insight into the naked heart where ego is extinguished and purity of light flows within you. I'm glad we found each other. Much love, Jillian. Oh, very nice. Okay, <clears throat> so first things first, the cardstock, beautiful. This cardstock is absolutely um, amazing. The feel of the cards, a matte finish, I would say. It's like silky matte. It feels very, um, <clears throat> very nice. It's almost really similar feel to, um, I wanna say like the Star Child Tarot, like that silky matte finish. Um, the backs, you won't be able to tell if they are upright or reversed. So that's a really cool plus, especially if you read reversals. <clears throat> so you won't be able to tell ahead of time. It has a gorgeous like geometric shape here um, and we have moths with the moon the other cool thing about this deck you guys there's absolutely no um, <coughs> well with the exception of maybe a couple a couple but there's it's a mostly animals um, but oh, oh my god it's so beautiful okay let's get to it. <laughs> um, the cardstock itself is um, a little thin but it makes it really nice to shuffle, especially because when you have a chunky tarot deck like this, um, it could be hard to shuffle with little hands. So let me just show you the shuffle before we even get into the card. I have shuffled this deck quite a few times already, um, and I will say it shuffles really nice. So I love it. The card stock is a little thin, so if you like, um, thicker cardstock you may you know that may be something you don't like but I don't I don't see an issue the only thing is if you're a rough shuffle shuffler like I am um the cards do kind of um bend due to that <clears throat> but a little trick that I like to share is 
um, don't always shuffle in the same direction so if you're noticing like your cards are getting kind of bowed like they kind of bend up like this from shuffling that way then um, just simply shuffle the opposite direction so sh shuffle with the faces up like that and you can actually morph your cards back into you know the right side the so they're, they're not bowing basically simple as that um okay so let's talk about the pictures okay <clears throat> so the minor arcana they are not pip cards which is really cool um they actually are simple they're very simple and I really like that like so for example we have the two of swords and you have like that cross here that genuine like you see the two of swords with a cross all the time but you get an idea of like being blocked you're being held down right you're weighted down by this so it's really the imagery is very intuitive is what I want to say like I said animals in the deck so if you're an animal lover you'll love it um, the major arcanas are really, 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 really cute. The imagery is so nice because it's like <clears throat> the imagery, the images pop out because the background is simply white. So simple white, you have black, um, words at the bottom to tell what kind of, what card it is, but the images pop because of the white background. So that was something I really loved about it. And so you have basics, you have swords, you have cups. Um, you get wands and pentacles. <clears throat> now, the other thing I wanted to say about the court cards, they're all the same animal. So for pentacles, you will have um, the father of pentacles, and then you'll have like the queen and all that. Here, here. This is the mother of pentacles. So they're buffaloes, but they're buffaloes like through life. So you'll see like the baby and then growing up. So the page <clears throat> would be a baby buffalo, and then the knight is like a teenage buffalo, and then we have mama and we have papa. So it's really cool. So that I like that too about the court cards. It's the same animal. Um, it makes it just, it, you see the evolution. Because I, I like to say with court cards, they could be symbolized as personalities, but they're also people, and they're also us when we grow. So you see the evolution of us. So. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it <laughs> to show you guys but oh well <clears throat> yeah the other thing I really 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 love this was actually probably my most favorite thing about this deck is <clears throat> for the court cards for the cups Jillian made them whales so we have the child of cups which is a baby whale I love that when I saw the whale for the cup cards, I was so excited because um, <clears throat> whales are my favorite animal. So that made me really happy. I just see them as so majestic and so intuitive. So as you could see, okay, here we go. So this is a this is one of the people, I guess you could say, like if there was humans in this deck, it's the Sky Father, or also known as the Emperor. Um, <clears throat> I really love what she did, how she made the universe instead of a face. So even though you have like what would have been a human figure, you still don't get much of like an actual person. It's an energy. And I love that she did that. I When I saw Sky Father, I was so excited when I saw this. <clears throat> um, she also incorporates astrology into her decks too. The, <clears throat> I think it's, oh yeah, every card. The Father of Pentacles has the Taurus. So if you if you pay close attention to it, you will notice. Let's see, nine of wands. Does she put one in here? Doesn't look like it. So maybe not all of them has. Yeah, I don't think the minors have it. So maybe it's just the court cards and the major arcana. Yeah, because we have the hangman, which is a bat, and then they she put. So she put the sign here. Um, the element. Oh, so cool. So, <clears throat> animals, animals, animals. Um, how does this read? So I've already used it for a couple um, client readings that I've done. And I have to say, it's very intuitive. Um, I love animal decks, so it doesn't bother me that there's no humans. Um, I feel like it's easy to read without 
the fact that there's no humans in the in the cards. Um, it's very intuitive. I pay attention to a lot of the colors. So that's another thing too, is um, she puts a lot of emphasis on certain colors. So like for this one, five of wands, which would be um, a card of conflict and whatnot, she put the color red. And red is usually a color of anger, um, frustration, that kind of thing. So that's another thing to pay attention to the colors. Um, like I said, the cups with the whales, they're blue. So for emotions, um, it just, uh, it's just beautiful. You have lovers, little eagle with a heart. <laughs> um, justice, so you, you can see the total, see the balance. You can see the sign of Libra there. So there's a lot of little hidden um, signs, like this is uh, Jupiter, the Wheel of Fortune. So, and then you have the elements here. It's beautiful. I think she did an amazing job with this deck, the Naked Heart. This is, um, I liked when I saw this one. Um, this is number 22, the Naked Heart. Instead of the world, which would have been, I think, 21, she added an extra card. So that was really cool. Um, <clears throat> because what, did, what would this mean to you, you know? So I was thinking that too when I saw this. I was like, oh, there's an extra card. I was kind of thinking like, well, what would 22, what would Naked Heart be to me? And to me, I would read it as like, your naked heart is your soul revealed. It's you at the end of your journey. You are one, you are complete. Um, I mean, you're one with yourself, you're one with your intuition, all of that. And your heart is your soul. I, I mean, I just associate heart with soul. But yeah, I don't wanna show you guys all of the cards, so they're just kind of messed on the table, but we have the fox for the wands, super cute. You also have like that element too, if you pay attention to the wand suit. Um, the king of wands has that salamander on his, um, on his clothes. So she included the salamander in the image too. So if you're, if you're really like well versed with the tarot, you'll notice things like that. This is earth mother. This was the other one that I thought was super cool. This is um, number three, so it would be the empress. So you could see Earth Mother, pregnant, green, like a tree. I love it. I just, I love the way she symbolized all this stuff. I think it's beautiful. I absolutely adore the artwork. I think it's amazing. Eight of Cups, look at how the simplicity, all you have are the cups. They're lined up like the Eight of Cup image in the Rider weight. You have the bear walking away. His booty kind of pushed him away. It's like he's walking away from his emotional ties to maybe a person or a thing it's simple you guys so I feel like this is a really good deck for beginners <clears throat> I feel like this is a really good deck for um, anyone if you love animals I, I feel like this is something that you guys will um, really enjoy so yeah you guys thank you so much for watching and um, and for, I hope you, if you have a copy of your own and you purchase a copy of your own, that you will enjoy the deck. This is the Naked Heart Tarot, the second edition. And like I said, I don't have the first edition, so um, I don't know what the de the differences are from both, from the two editions, but um, from what I see with this one, it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, thanks you guys for watching.